Hi there, I'm Neil Davison, uh, all along with me today, Kieran and Danny. Um, two years ago, I was an assistant head teacher in a school in Somerset. I had a 15 year career in secondary school education. Um, and at a time when lots of my friends and lots of people I knew were losing their jobs and being made redundant, I made a bold decision to um, give up my, my career um, and a good salary to help kids in Bristol um, who are at risk of exclusion from schools. And this dream started about a year before that when my wife and I were um, having a meal one evening and we just sort of dared to dream a few dreams of you know, what would it be like if we look back on our lives when we got to 60, um, what, what would that look like if we really kind of had done with our lives what we wanted to do. My wife and I both got a passion for um, young people and for adrenaline sports and adventure activities so we thought wouldn't it be great if we could use those passions to help young people um, such as Danny and Kieran here. So the problem I'm sure you're all aware of for young people is you know, it's very big and there are in Bristol 700 young people in the 11 to 16 age bracket that get excluded from schools every year and we wanted to start making a difference for, for some of those 700 kids. Without intervention we know that, they, you know, that, that sort of spiral of negativity can go on to lead to crime, then becoming neat, that's not an education, employment or training from 16. And in the worst cases, they might end up in prison or even dead. And these are really, really drastic things that can happen to young people if, if they don't get the positive interventions needed. So the Urban Pursuit solution is to use adventure and adrenaline sports to help kids re-engage with learning. We take kids out of schools um, for a day a week, typically, and they'll come to us to do um, a couple of activities each day. There's a whole range of different um, sports and activities going right from the traditional outdoor pursuits like kayaking and rock climbing through to more contemporary urban sports like parkour, skateboarding, BMX, that sort of thing. And we believe that through our programmes we can reach young people better than the schools can because we actually spend time with them, they get to trust us, we build relationships with them and then they start opening up and we can actually work out you know, what is it that's going on for these young people that's making it difficult for them to get on in school and, and do the stuff that the schools need them to do. And as we, as we begin to work with young people, we can then feed back stuff to the schools. We work really closely with the schools and this is one of the areas that we pride ourselves on and we felt was missing from the alternative education sector in Bristol, was that just communication wasn't really happening between the alternative providers and with schools. So we're now working with schools and families very closely to give strategies to help with their children and it could be things like you know just very specific little things like um, giving a child an item to look after for an hour so that they're actually reassured that you're going to come back to them at the end of uh, a period of time and they're not just going to get abandoned and we're, off, we're able to offer that sort of information to um, parents and schools in a, in a way that's really helpful so um, we, we're very new we just started working in January um, after some trials last summer and Danny and Kieran here were, were two of the students that started back in January still with us and um, I just want, wanted to share a few sort of bits of the impact of our programme so far. So I'm just going to start with a question for you uh, Kieran. Could you just tell us um, a little bit about what, what school was like for you before you came on the Open Pursuit programme? Well before I come to Open Pursuit I used to get this thing called negatives and if we knew you'd get on. I used to get about 15 a day and now I'm quite open pursuit. As part of my school starts helping me, now I get none a day. I get a thing called positives, which is if you be good, you get them. You get about 12 of them a day. Brilliant. Thanks, Kieran. And Danny, what, what sort of um, bits of urban pursuits have been particularly memorable? What are the, what the things that actually have been really important to you in terms of um, helping you to, to progress? Oh, I like. Oh, I like what the world from a different point of view. And everyone's looking up at you and sitting down at you all the time. It's like you have to be very happy. And what about the impact it's had back in school and at home? What have been some certain skills that you've learned through working with us that have helped you back at home or in school? Yeah, I like being able to sit around and listen to teachers and like feel like better and listen to their story before like being part of the classroom or something like that. So we, we did 
did our first um, assessment recently, um, and we have got 80% of the students that have been with us since January have improved their behaviour in schools. We've got a 50% reduction in fixed term exclusions already, and um, there's been a significant increase in attendance as well. So these are all key uh, metrics that schools are looking for to, to try and get kids more engaged in their learning. Um, we'd, we'd really like to try and raise £5,000 to um, buy some more of these bikes. Um, as I mentioned, the urban sports are really popular and it's great if we can do sports that are culturally relevant to these kids and sports that they can access themselves. It's not very easy for these guys to go off rock climbing on their own, but they can do things like parkour, skateboarding and, and something with bikes quite easily. These are special um, jump bikes. We've just got this one at the moment, it's called Eunice. All of our vehicles and bikes, we give old ladies names. I don't know why, but uh, that's just the way it started. Uh, so this is Eunice, and um, we'd really like to um, get more of these bikes so we can take all of our students out and ride around the city and do these programmes with them using, using this sort of um, uh, medium. And um, yeah, we'd love it. If, if you can give more than 5,000 today, then for every 600 quid more you can give, we can get another bike and we can impact more children. We hope to be impacting 40 students per year uh, on our programmes um, soon. We're going to we, so rapidly get to that point. We are looking for some non-financial support as well. So if any of you are out here into vehicle maintenance and know how to <laughs> service Land Rovers, we were really, uh, we were really grateful to receive a, a, a very old Land Rover called Doris. And uh, if you know how to service those and maintain them, we would like some help with that. And um, also with uh, volunteers in the children's work area. Thank you very much.